Hey folks, how you doing? And welcome back to Ape Escape 2 Playthrough. In this part, we're going back to the beach and we're going back to the previous levels that we've been to, folks. So prepare for the ride. Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, how are you folks doing? Me, I'm doing fantastic, fighting through to sleep as I record another part of the Ape Escape playthrough. As I stated in the previous part, I had some turkey. And so I decided to get some Ape Escape out the way. So now you guys know that I'm recording two parts within the same day. Back to back. Uh, yeah. So if I'm finding out of, uh, running out of stuff to say, then, you know, just uh, excuse me. I'm just a little bit delirious right now, actually, because like I stated before, I'm, I'm pretty much fighting the sleep, folks. So I might be talking some gibberish or whatnot. You guys probably think I've been talking gibberish throughout this whole playthrough. Now, I don't blame you if I have. You know, it's just... I, I gotta make it... I gotta make it a little entertaining, you know, because... You can talk about the game, and then you find yourself getting bored. So, you kind of just sidetrack and talk about other stuff. It's been done through playthroughs before. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that really do it, you know. So, basically, I've, you know, been talking kind of on and off throughout this playthrough been talking about some of the game and you know some other stuff that's kind of unrelated you know it, it just kind of how it goes but anyway I like this um, this part right here pretty much the stage because it seems like where you get the most platforming you know what I'm talking about you're actually jumping and you know putting those skills to use so anyway, <laughs> just to go off of topic um, for a quick, uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't mind that I'm about to talk about him because he doesn't care. But my friend D has been playing Terraria. You know, that little game that you dig through there. It's kind of like a 2D Minecraft, what I've been thinking about. Um, but basically, that's what it looks like to me, just a 2D Minecraft. Um, I don't see the appeal in it. You know, I'm just saying that because I haven't touched it. But this guy has been putting um, pretty much all his time into that. Uh, you know, whenever whenever we hang out, that's what he's playing. I'm like, no, whatever, man. You just do you, man. You know. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what he's been spending his time on. If you guys been wondering how he, you know, how he's doing. So he's alive, you know barely but he's alive um seeing all his uh energy getting put into you know terraria <laughs> when i went over there um uh, i went over to his house to hang out with him i'm like yo man uh what games are we gonna play today you know you want to play some borderlands or whatnot and man this guy's just sitting there just like he he's we eventually did play you know borderlands but Man, he did not want to tear his eyes from Terraria. And this is at the time of this recording, so it may be irrelevant now. But yeah, that's what he's been doing. He's just his soul. I can see like a green light coming from his body being sucked into the computer screen. That's what it looked like to me. His just his essence, his soul was just the computer was just grabbing his soul and slowly yanking it towards it. <laughs> but that's that's how you can tell somebody's really enjoying the game because it's it they're not worried about the things that surround them they're just enjoying what they're doing like the game they're playing i haven't found a game like that in a while that actually just like draws me pulls me in and that's why i'm glad i started this channel because it gets to show me you know if the games i used to enjoy can pull back in once more you know i'm not just playing it for you know for if i can have something on this channel no i'm not just doing it. i just want to see if it can pull me back in kind of like what this game do, did you know and i'm stating this before and i'm pretty sure i'm stated this probably a million times it's not a bad game no it's not otherwise uh I have much, much, much worse things to say about it. No, it's not a bad game, folks. And it's definitely the least favorite 
in my opinion, the least one of my favorites of the three Ape Escape games. That's uh, the main three. <sighs> I wish they made the demand's not in though, which is kind of sad about it. But I wish there was another Ape Escape game. You know, at least in the words, the PlayStation Four might prove me wrong and make this whole statement irrelevant. Which, in that case, I hope it does. But I would really wish it was another mainstream Ape Escape game. You know, Ape Escape 4. I know the Japanese have a lot more Ape Escape games than what we have. You know, and that kind of pisses me off a little bit. But, you know, hey, you gotta have some exclusive to your own country. But anyway, yeah, they have, um... It, it's been getting my attention, and I wish it was a translated, um... You know, translated version of the game or whatnot. It's strictly all in Japanese. It's Ape Escape Million Monkeys. It looks like a. It's definitely a darker, quote unquote, Ape Escape game, folks. Yeah, it's definitely darker, but it still has that Ape Escape goodness. And I want to play Ape Escape Million Monkeys. It just looks like a fantastic game from the. Uh, clips that I've been seeing I haven't seen anyone do a commentary on it or I haven't been looking hard enough but I, I you could do a comp uh, you could do a commentary on a Japanese game um, it's just that I haven't seen any so far I haven't been looking you know far enough for it but anyway yeah it, it looks like a fantastic game and I I don't know maybe uh I probably have to get like an action replay in order to play it. Um, I'll have to just see how much the cost and whatnot, and see if I could just get myself into it. And maybe I'll do a playthrough on it, folks. Uh, if you guys would want that. So in the future, you know, let me know. Speaking of letting me know, go on ahead and click that description box. My social media sites are listed down below, so you guys. Make sure, you know, if you want to chat, let me know, you know, this game's out. You know, will you be doing a playthrough on it? You know, do you have this game? Will you do a playthrough on it? And I'll try my best to, well, I'm going to respond. Uh, I'll try my best to respond. And I'll let you know if I have that game or not. You know, maybe you guys could donate it, donate it to me, you know, if you guys really want me to play it. Um, just let me know what's up and, you know, I'll, I'll give it a look at it. I'll play it, you know let you know my opinions maybe I'll start a review or something start doing reviews on games I really like um, it just all um, this channel is still a baby so there is room for improvements and you know to grow it's still a baby so it's still got to get its roots and whatnot so you know in a couple of years maybe this channel will be big as you know some of the other subscribers out there you know maybe maybe not if it doesn't you know at least I tried, and I'm still going to be doing it anyway, so... <laughs> it's just something that I like to do during my free time, because... My free time, I'm not really doing anything, and it kind of sucks. You know, so... I'm just going to pour my free time into, you know... Uploading stuff, you know, just for you guys, so... Anyway, we're in this beautiful, beautiful stage once again. We're not going to spend too long on here. Uh, we're just going back and meeting some monkeys that we missed. So, you know, the, the uh, I stated before the last time we hit, we was here that the stage, though it's beautiful, it's kind of lackluster in some areas. Let me uh, give you a it's What I'm trying to say that not only is it gorgeous, but it's just way too long for its own good. It's, it's, it's too big. <laughs> so basically, we're just going transversing through the area because we already been here. So I'm just searching for the monkeys that I may or may not have missed. And my radar is already picking up something. I'm trying to uh, diverse where the sound is actually coming from. So once again, we're in the submarine. Uh, if they made this path any more dangerous than it was, uh, I was wondering. Um, I know I'm pretty much just talking all over the place but I was wondering why this game didn't have like uh, any true power-ups you know like uh, invincibility or you know immunity or something um, you know maybe I would love a power-up if you know they had like they give Jimmy 
or in this case, even if from the first game, if they gave the player, um, like, there was invincibility in shape of, like, a sparkly net or something, and it, if you grab it, you get double the nets. Like, you have one, you have a net in one hand and a net in the other, and it lets you have the ability to catch twice the monkeys. So if there was two monkeys standing side by side, you know, you get the power up, and then you'll be able to, like, I don't know, cross your hands and catch both of them at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. Or like double the uh, double the stunt clubs. You know, you could go all Star Wars on it, and you know, because that's what it reminds. That's what the stunt club reminds me of, anyway. Just like a blue lightsaber. So you can have like you know double of them, or just like you know hook one on the one end, or have a double saber, or do a lightsaber. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, actually. You know, double the gadgets would be pretty cool. Maybe that can be a concept for the next Ape Escape game. That'd be, oh man, that'd be so wicked. That really would. Just have like double the, although that having double the speed hoops would look kind of, kind of silly because it'd just be too, um, hula hoop. Maybe it can make you go twice as fast. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> just go and be able to go twice as fast as you usually do. Uh, do on the speed hoop so instead of this speed it'd be like uh, I don't know maybe sonic speed or something like that that'd be pretty cool and also um what in the next game we could do is like give us the choices of more character selectability like all the characters from the previous games such as Spike Jimmy and the two characters from Ape Escape 3 that I'm really not gonna get into until we actually get to that game, so I'm not going to really spoil it for you guys. But yeah, on Ape Escape 3, you can pick up to two characters that you want to play with. So I really kind of did spoil it, but I won't reveal to you who those characters actually are. Until we actually get to the game, because I don't want to ruin the whole Ape Escape 3 and the whole appearance or whatever that... I have on it but uh appearance I mean opinions that I have on it so yeah just give us uh, more chances to select um previous protagonists you know that we already have and it'd be that'll, that'll make a great pretty much experience as far as Ape Escape 4 do, uh, goes but yeah I really do hate the U monkeys in the UFO I was trying to get it with the magic punch but the magic punch wasn't really doing its job so you know back to the stunt club it's a fact of it works so I'm just gonna use what's whatever's best you know and gotcha I I, th I thought uh, I think I I believe I captured him before he even had a chance to hit the ground and that was pretty awesome so basically right now I'm gonna deal with two monkeys who are really really just a pain in the butt to capture one of them is a little more annoying than the other because you'll see in just a second. So the monkey that I'm trying to capture now, you see that monkey over there? He's summoning enemies. And he's summoning just a whole buttload of them. And I'm just was spending my time just trying to get rid of him. And it really wasn't doing anything because I didn't I missed this monkey that was here. So now that he's out of the way, I'm getting my chance to pretty much just try to capture the monkey that summoning other, um, other enemies, which really caught me off guard because I wasn't expecting, a, you know, a monkey to do this. And not only that, that he summoned these uh, little bandit things that I told you guys wasn't bad, you know, to have around, but I'm losing a whole heck of a lot of coins. But the good thing is I'm gaining twice as much back because they're... Not only are they standing, uh, stealing from me, but I'm able to, you know, get that money back and more. But anyway, yeah, this thing is just annoying, and it was relentless, folks. So I'm just glad I got him out of the way. So that stage is done. We got the fireworks celebration, and we're out. Awesome. So basically, yeah, that's going to end another Apescape part for you folks. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. And remember, have a wonderful day. And take care. See you soon.